Hello guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Luciano. Today I want to discuss with you about the long sword against armor. This particular sword is a replica that I am making and this is a can shot type 15A. And this sword is designed most for thrusting instead of cutting. And this is because of the type of uh, armor that this sword would face on battlefield. This sword has a very thin uh, point, uh, but it is quite um, reinforced, and this sword is stiff. Okay, so this sword was meant to pierce through armor, but what kind of armor is chainmail? Okay, so uh, just to give you an example of what this blade can do against chainmail, uh, here I have a ring. This link here, uh, this ring, has an uh, internal diameter of 2 cm. Uh, this, this ring is so small, I can't fit my finger inside it. And let's see how much sword can go through this ring. And if I place my sword here and I push, this is how much blade will fit inside a ring of 2 cm of diameter. So you can see it's a lot of blade, uh, more than enough to pierce through a person. What was the size of the rings from for chainmail? According to Wikipedia, uh, the chainmail would have rings uh, varying between one centimeter and one point six centimeters. So uh, using millimeters, that is more accurate and scientific. Uh, let's see how much blade will penetrate a ring with 16 millimeters. I have a caliper here, I am adjusting it to 16 millimeters. Okay, let's see how much blade will pierce through uh, 16 millimeters in a ring. So here, sliding the caliper through the sword and uh, the sword will stop around here. This is how much blade would penetrate through chainmail if the, the ring of the chainmail had 16 millimeters. Now let's check how much uh, blade would go through uh, 10 millimeters. Is how much blade would slide through uh, the smallest ring for chainmail. Just the tip of the blade. Uh, this would hurt. Yeah, sure, this will hurt, but here we are measuring just uh, how much blade will pass the, the ring if the ring doesn't deform, and that's not what uh, would happen in reality. This sword uh, will bust through uh, the ring, uh, just breaking the ring, so when if, if the ring breaks, uh, the, the, the sword will slide, like if there was no, no protection, so this is why this sword is uh, so acute and rigid because you can point it to the chainmail and push uh, with the, your force and also the, the, the mass of your body to burst through chainmail. And if, even if the ring doesn't break apart, uh, it just deforms. Okay? So here I have a, a cap and this is made of plastic. If the sword enters here and forces it in the, in the internal uh, walls, what happens is that this shape that's round will um, change the form to this shape. So you have an increase of the length between those points. If you have uh, 3 millimeters of displacement from here to here, and from here to here, uh, during the formation, you have uh, this internal gap of 10 millimeters increasing to 16 millimeters. See again how much blade would go through a gap of 16 millimeters uh, in a chain nail. This much of blade. If we were going talking about the smallest uh, ring in a chain mail. And if we are talking about 
uh, ring with 16 millimeters, the biggest one, and it has a um, deformation and displacement of 2 millimeters to each side. We have 20 millimeters uh, of gap. This is how much blade will go in, the, in this case. Uh, of course, uh, I'm just assuming 2 millimeters of uh, displacement in the ring, and 2 millimeters is nothing. This is 2 millimeters. This can give you one idea of what this sword uh, would be capable of doing against chainmail. Well, I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and if you are not a subscriber for my channel, please subscribe. That's it, and I see you later.